Yeah. So the the ceramic URLs right here. So these this is all ceramic. Yep. Uh, it still has the ball bearings in yeah, there too, right? right? Okay. So I guess the application is just for low weight. Uh, uh, well, yeah, so it's going to be something for non-magnetic, high heat, high corrosion, whatever yeah, you're looking yeah. for. That metal is probably not going to be a good application for it. So that's why you have ceramic. We also have stainless products where if you need corrosion protection or if you have some sort of um, water or wash down. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this, this probably wouldn't be good for a 3D printer or... I mean, for a 3D printer, it's probably not going to be their best choice just because of the yeah. cost. So yeah, it's gonna be yeah. a lot higher cost than yeah. Unless all. you want to pay for the money to have, uh, is it, so the, fit, the cool thing about the ceramic is is light, you know. Yeah. But I guess I guess that brings us back to the uh, the tubing in your. Uh, that's what you call it, right? Um, uh, it's just our hollow rail. Hollow rail. Yeah. Nice, nice. We can do a lot of different things. We've worked with a lot of different companies, especially aerospace companies, that need to have as light of material as possible. Yeah, yeah. Or as light of the guys as possible. So we've worked with them a lot, and a lot of times what we can do is we can use this hollow rail design. We could also do something with our normal rail, just kind of have little cutouts here to reduce the material. Yeah. So a lot of different things that we could do. Uh, to reduce that weight, but also for most of our products actually have pretty high load ratings. So for something like this, uh, for a 3D printer, uh, depending on what size of 3D printer you have, if this is like a tabletop 3D printer, then this is way overkill. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You can you can you get away with. Uh, I, I, we're, we're more aiming towards you know large scale. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And in that case, something like this, or maybe even something a little bit smaller, like the size 15s here. Those are some pretty linear rails. But... So this is all stainless steel? Uh, these are actually not stainless. So uh, some of them, these are actually not stainless and they're not coated. But the ones that are a little bit more shiny there, uh, here, are actually coated. So we can do a coating as well. I don't know if you actually pull it. Uh, this is in our rails. Uh, you can see this is our uh, just our hard chrome coating and we also have a black chrome coating here. So nice. it just depends on the aesthetics. If you want some black chrome, uh, there's also black chrome with fluorescent coating, which makes it very corrosion resistant. Or we could just go with the hard chrome or the thin dense chrome. Yeah. This is good stuff, man. Okay, so what's good about this linear row is yeah, so this a, is actually it's hollow, hollow here. So nice, nice. About forty percent lighter than normal. We have these in both of our SR and uh, SSR, and us along with our SHS. Ones. So do you have a lot smaller sizes? Uh, I think fifteen is about the smallest size, which is going to be about this size right here. Oh, nice, nice. So. Uh, Okay, so this is this is the smallest one right here. Yeah, that's about the fifth. Okay. This is gonna be the what about the, what about the miniature guides? Uh, so we we have those, but those aren't gonna have the hollow rail version. Got you, got and you. The miniature guides actually are the ones down there. Uh, those are SRS, are a more compact size. Uh, yeah, have a different... I like these because um, they're they're low profile, profile but yeah. fat, you know, so they're good so for we, yeah, we have... like Z axis, uh, like for Z axis looking to. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can't live a beer, uh, can't live a bed. Uh, yeah. So we have, again, for depending on the type of load you're seeing, if you're seeing a cantilever off the side here, yeah. then a wide rail is going to be better, or even using two rails is going to be even better, but if you don't have that kind of room. Um, we also have short blocks and long blocks. If you're going to see a cantilever off of this side, we yeah. have even longer blocks, so it just depends on so, kind of... So, like, when you have the short, fat one, mm -hmm. like, is this good for, for like, it's a side load or anything? Yeah, so or, it's good for a cantilevered load this way, but it's still, those still have four-way equal loading, so you can still kind of turn them, you can put them on a wall, you can put them vertically and they'll have the same load capacity. Nice. Uh, some of the other ones that have a little bit of a difference, um, so for example, the SR has uh -huh. a 90 degree on the top and 30 degrees on the side, instead of 45 on all sides. So it's not exactly a four-way equal loading block, it's more of a radial load, so you just want to basically push down on this. Nice. Okay. Nice, man. So what kind of leap? What kind of leaps do these come in? Say that again? What kind of leap? I mean, like how? Oh, um, the miniatures will probably be 
uh, around one to two meters, depending on the size. Uh, most of our other stuff, you know, single piece rail is going to be three meters standard max length. Nice, but nice. we do also have longer length uh, available up to seven meters in some of our products. And we also, if you're not looking for a single piece, we do a lot of jointed stuff that can be basically as long as you want. Nice, nice.